Hey, hey guys, I'm back. My phone decided to shut off, but I think I found out why. Um, since this is a new video and some people are probably watching it for the first time, yeah, subscribe, hit that button, do whatever you want if you want to stay or whatever. Become part of my family! Um, but I think it's shutting off because I'm trying to charge it while I'm running the camera and it's making the, the battery part of it too hot because as soon as I turn it off or I unplug it, it cools down. <clears throat> so anyways, I finished the last bite of my sandwich. I'm going to go ahead and start eating on this McFlurry here. And I got to finish telling you guys the story about the my puppet buddy. I'm wrapping this up because it's melting. My little puppet guy. Watch my previous video if I post that one of this little guy. And I named him Marley because he's got like the big sunglasses like that. But anyways, in the vacation that we were on, we were down in Disney and we had stopped off at a little magic store somewhere along the lines and I got stuff like fake vomit, fake poop, fake like cigarettes and stuff like that and my mom wanted to play a joke on the uh, mouse keeping people, the hotel people that come and clean your room and give you fresh towels and make your bed and all that kind of stuff. And I hate it how they always get stuff like way up here. I ain't got time for this. So I set the little puppet guy up on the bed and I put a fake pile of the dog poop that I got or it looked more like human poop but it was a pretty big round like a soft serve ice cream <laughs> go figure and <clears throat> I put that underneath of him and then I put the blanket up over top of him and I didn't have the bed made because I knew that she was gonna they were gonna come in and make it anyways and we decided to stay at the hotel that day because you guys gotta remember that like I lived my childhood I lived in Disney World we would spend my entire summer break there. Yeah. It's melted, but I kind of like the melty bits of ice cream. Because i got sensitive teeth, so. So we went ahead and left the room. And I kind of like forgot about it. We went to the pool, we ate at the you know hotels food court that they had and we were gone for quite a few hours long enough to where we thought housekeeping would have come by and done their stuff and we were going back so we could change and go to a park that evening we start walking back to the room and the big cart thing is sitting right outside of our room which meant they were still in our room, actually cleaning our room when we came back. I guess they were like running late because they're usually done by pretty early. Ah, I gotta be quick with it. Sorry if you don't like melted ice cream. I can sit there and just drink melted ice cream. As long as it's still cold. It has to be like cool though. So we go up to the door and she comes out and she's like, oh my God, y'all just made my week. And I was like, oh crap. I walk into the room and the little puppet guy at the bed's made the little puppet guy is sitting up on the bed and he's like leaning back up against the pillow and she has his hand laid out and it has a big wad of toilet paper in his hand and she was like you guys made my week I thought that that was real poop and I went and you know I got my gloves on and everything and here I was getting you know 
getting ready to pick it up, and I go to pick it up and realize that it was fake once she picked it up. So, of course, that started to strike up conversation. And she was telling us about, like, the nasty stuff that people do. Because we were like, people were really crap in the beds, like, at Disney, like, on vacation. She was like, you would not believe what we see and what we have to do and clean up after. I'm not going to name any, like, countries of, or, or races or anything that she's, that she mentioned. But she said that she's had times where she had to clean out massive amounts of poop and pee from the bathtub. Because they were trying to pack so many people into one hotel room. And they, I guess, didn't understand the concept of toilets. But they'd poop and pee in the tub and just leave it there. And, of course, these people had to go and clean it up. So, you're always supposed to tip your housekeeper. Whether it's at Disney or, you know... A hotel down the street you should always tip them a couple dollars and tip them every single day not like once a week so if you go on vacation and you're there for a week don't just do one large tip at the end whenever you're leaving because they change the shift so it could be a different person cleaning your room every single day so what we usually do is just leave two or three dollars each day for each person and just write on the little card this is for housekeeping because if it's a good hotel and it's not shady people they wouldn't take the money if it's not labeled and most of the time you either put it in the bathroom on the little sink or on the little table like if it has a little coffee maker and like a microwave you put it there and a lot of times they'll have little cards that say this is your housekeeper and it'll have their name on it. And you can put the card on top of the money that also lets them know that, hey, I'm allowed to take this cash. Because they won't take it. And I've had that happen a couple times where we've left money at Disney and they wouldn't take it <clears throat> unless it was labeled for them to take but this lady was talking about, like, the poop and pee thing was the grossest. But also having to clean up, you know, like, massive sweat stains and stuff. Like, to the point to where they've had to throw out mattresses. They were so bad. And they've really cracked down on, like, how many people can stay in a room and, like, how long you can be there and stuff. They've changed a lot over the years. I still love Disney, and I'm still going to be taking my kids there. Logan and Ari have been already. Munch hasn't. She's still too little. But I just, I feel for people that have jobs like that, because you never know what you're going to walk into. And, like, a lot of people that, um work in motels now I'm not talking Disney because this probably doesn't really happen that often in Disney um, having to walk into people who have committed suicide I actually watched a documentary on that not too long ago people will go and rent a motel room like cheap and they'll commit suicide because they know that their body will be found before they start to decompose. Because if you just go for one night and you kill yourself, you don't check out in the morning, they're going to come to clean your room anyways. And these poor people who have nothing to do with you, they don't know who you are or anything, have to walk into finding your dead body.
my grandma actually worked at a uh, Best Western for a while before she decided to finally retire and she had a suicide that she had walked in on that kind of stuff will scar you for life I believe in suicide's never the answer anyways we got a few more minutes before they let Logan out. I'm going to actually take the lid off of this. I don't know why. Like, my allergies are just starting to act up again. Like, my nose gets all stuffy and mucusy. You see what I said? If you watched the video right before this, which you should have. starts to look like a dirty butthole. <laughs> so there's still a bit in here. Mm -hmm. See, like, this is, like, good consistency for me. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, ew, my god, I can't eat ice cream like that. I can only eat it whenever it's, like, completely solid and frozen and stuff but I've, I've become accustomed to eating it like this because my teeth are so sensitive yeah but I know that people that commit suicide and stuff man this took like a really sad turn like what the hell happened I know that people that commit suicide are in a really rough part of their lives, but there's always help if you're willing to try to find it. Whether it's needing medication or just somebody to talk to. There are people out there that will help. You just have to be willing to try to find it. I actually want to um, become a drug counselor. Yeah, but sorry I had to break this video up into two parts. Like I said, I think I figured it out. I think it's because I'm trying to charge my phone while I'm running the camera and it doesn't like that. For whatever reason. I'll try it next time and I'll see if I can do it without having the air condition on so high. And I'll just keep the phone unplugged and I'll keep it out of my case just to keep it a little cooler because I have one of these they're like the pocketbook ones so it's got two little magnets here and I can close it so it keeps the screen protected but it's like a little pocketbook. I keep my license in one side and then usually a check card in the other side. And it keeps everything right there. But it still has the little hole so you can see if you're getting like notifications and stuff. And you can actually like turn the phone on, close it, lock it, but still talk on it, you know, without you know, like girls that wear makeup and stuff they'll know what I'm talking about with a cell phone as soon as you put it up to your face and you talk for a few minutes and you go to look back down at your screen you can't see it because everything's done come off onto your phone the struggle is real guys alright well I'm going to have to go because they're getting ready to let the kids come out so
might let Logan finish this. Then again, he doesn't really like the Oreo ones, so we'll see. All right. But y'all gotta go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become a member of my family. Like I said, we would love to have you, and that includes everybody. Everybody's starting to get in on this YouTube thing of, this is so cool. Let's watch mommy's videos. Let's be in mommy's videos. So, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one, which I'm not sure, maybe this weekend, we'll see. Might be a day or two, but uh, we'll see. I have a guy actively looking at me. Hi, buddy! Um, I hate being stared at. It's like, why? Why are you looking at me? It's okay if you glance, but you're like hardcore staring at me. Oh, okay, whatever. All right, guys, I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!